car flipping. See what I did there? In this video, we are going to turn a 2010 Subaru Forester that needs a new engine into a profitable $10,000 plus flip. This is that story. On September 19th, my brother texts me a link to a potential Turo car. As someone who runs a car rental business, he sends me links to cars all the time, but this one was very different. As you guys can see, it's a 2010 Subaru Forester listed for only $3,000. The only issue is the description says car has rod knock. That sound isn't good. Can technically be driven, but overheats after 30 minutes. Needs extensive mechanical repairs to be reliable. Well, luckily, my brother's a trained mechanic, and after a little bit of texting back and forth, we decided that instead of buying the car, fixing it up, and renting it out, we were gonna go for the straight-up flip with the goal of making $5,000 profit. Our rules for this heist will be as follows. My brother will act as the team mechanic, doing all of the work from inspecting the vehicle on the purchase to doing the engine swap. I, on the other hand, will play the role of Kevin. Kevin O'Leary. Oh! AKA the investor or the guy that takes all the financial risk. I believe in my brother's idea to flip this car so much, I'm willing to fund the initial purchase of it, all of the repairs, and when everything's said and done, we'll split the profits. With rolls established, we talked the seller down to $2,500, I sent over the payment, and my brother picked up our brand new 129,000 mile car with the blown engine. Cool and straining now. It is 11.56. I'm gonna try to have this engine out, transfer all the parts over to the new engine, have the new engine bolted back in tonight and then finish up tomorrow. The repair process began almost immediately and it wasn't going to be cheap. As you guys can see, the first thing I ordered was a new engine, which came out to $1,378.14 after taxes and shipping costs. Then we spent an additional $189 for a new water pump, spark plugs, and two new thermostats, putting us at an all-in cost of $4,067.14. Luckily, since my brother's a mechanic, labor didn't cost us a single penny and only about 11 hours of his time to do the engine swap. It is now 10.18 p.m. Engine's back in, bolted in. That's pretty much it. Got a whole bunch more work to do tomorrow, but car part's over. My brother's a great guy and all, but he does use an Android, hence the terrible phone quality. But on that note, just one week after picking up the Subaru, my brother sent me a video with the engine working. So to finally see this $4,000 investment in person and hopefully flip it for $10,000 plus, I'm gonna make the trip halfway across the country to Lander, Wyoming, AKA the middle of nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we officially made it to my brother's house in Wyoming. Look at the view behind me, it's kind of sick. So Alex, you have a bunch of cars here. So you got a Volkswagen bus, you got this thing right here. How many cars do you have? I think seven. Seven cars and how many of them work? Half. Okay, well the Subaru is working now because you, you actually installed the new engine right that's right all right so we're gonna go take a look it's a, it's in your garage we got another car right here does that one work which one this one no it does not <laughs> it's really cool to finally see this car in person it's almost completely done he just installed the new motor and now what we need to do next is literally just get the hood on the car oh that's not that heavy i thought this would be like a hawk so now that we got the hood installed and the panel underneath the car all set my brother is gonna start it up let's start it <laughs> So much better. That knocking sound's gone. Do you want to take it for a test drive? Let's do it. So what are we looking for on this test drive to make sure the car's good? We got to make sure it doesn't overheat. No weird noises. Make sure the transmission shift's all good because I obviously couldn't test it before. I'm not worried about it, really. I will say, though, having bought a lot of cars in this last year, you never really know what you're going to get. So we test drove the car to the local car wash. We are now pulling up to the car wash. We got to get this thing clean if we want to sell it. And after getting it completely clean, it was time to take some photos and get the vehicle listed. As you guys can see, our Subaru Forester is officially listed on Facebook Marketplace for $11,000. Now this is definitely on the upper end of the KBB value, but it wasn't until I came out to Wyoming that I figured out the Subaru Forester was a 2015, not a 2010, and it also has 165,000 miles instead of 125,000. I completely mixed up this Subaru with another blown engine Subaru we took a look at, which I guess is a positive since this car has pretty luxurious features such as heated seats, and a panoramic sunroof, which is completely covered in snow right now. But this car also has a ton more miles, and I'm about to drive it 351 miles across the country, which doesn't help. I decided to drive out and sell this car in Denver since my brother lives in a rural area with a small customer base, whereas Denver is a large metropolitan city with a lot of potential car buyers. And with a ton of potential risks on the horizon, like this car breaking down or me hitting a deer in the nighttime, this video is sponsored by Moo Moo. <laughs> who's giving away 15 free stocks valued up to $2,000 each.
Moo Moo is currently celebrating their 10 year anniversary. So on top of all the free stocks they're giving away, they're also giving away a $10 cash coupon to new users. Here's 10 bucks for free. Sign up for the Moo Moo app. Thank you. Moo Moo? Yeah, Moo Moo, the investing app. Here's 10 bucks for free. Just sign up for Moo Moo. On top of all the bonuses you get for being a Moo Moo customer, it's literally one of my favorite commission free trading apps. Since they have this feature called Stock Screener where you can filter for stocks that match your exact criteria such as high profit, high growth, or low leverage if you want to keep your risk down. The pump behind me just stopped. But another cool thing about this feature is you can see the holdings of large institutional funds such as Warren Buffett. Moo Moo's free stocks can help to recover that fat gas bill since they give you a free one for signing up. If you deposit just $100, you get five free stocks. And finally, you get 15 free stocks once you reach $2,000 in deposits. So check out Moo Moo down below. And now let's sell this car in Denver, Colorado. Good morning, Denver. I'm at the Quality Inn and Suites this morning. And when you check out our Facebook Marketplace listing, you guys can see it has a total of 198 clicks. And when you look at the messages, no one's hit me up. That's a very low view to at least is this available message. So I'm gonna drop the price by $500 and hopefully someone hits me up soon. The next few days were miserable, trying everything to sell the car. All right, guys, we just made it to Easy Pond. We've got the Forester behind me and hopefully we can sell it to them. Let's head inside. Hello. I was wondering, do you guys buy cars? Take me off camera, man. That's his job, sorry. Don't film me, though. Everyone was against us. Even this guy. Tell him that. Don't film me. Don't film him. And after trying to sell the car on the side of the highway or the Walmart parking lot. Hey. Why? Uh, no, thank you. Please. Good luck, bud. I quit. Until I received this message. Someone is supposedly coming to take a look at the Subaru Forester today, and it seems we agreed on a price from these messages of $10,000. I'm actually staying at my buddy Aaron's house right now, who manages the whole Turo operation, and you said you also flipped a couple cars, right? I have a little bit of experience doing it, so I flipped a Prius before I got really into the whole Turo stuff, and I made 5,000 bucks off it. So I bought another car, it was like an old Mercedes, and was expecting to make around three to $4,000 on it. And long story short, the thing got sideswiped, and and it's still not fixed to this day. You can see the side of it is completely fine, but they hit right here and tore off the bumper. The car had a bad starter when I bought it, so I was just gonna get the, the starter replaced and then sell it. So I had a mobile mechanic come out and fix the car at the guy's house that I bought it from. After it got sideswiped, they left a note on the car and he took the note off the car. I was like, cool, I'll just come over and I'll pick up the note from you. And then he just ghosted me. And then I would text him like probably five times a week. I was just left with a car that got sideswiped with $6,000 of damage. So basically all the money you made from your first car flip was lost on this L car right here. But I guess on the bright side to show you the car me and my brother yeah. bought. If you're selling a car, what really matters is just like getting great pictures. It's like a Turo listing and then try to sell it for as much as you can. One question, did you register this car? Yet? Not yet, nope. Who's it registered to? So it's registered to the previous owner. I'm probably just gonna end up title flipping it. When I was doing the whole car flipping thing, I looked into it. It's literally a felony. My record recommendation for you is register this to your name and then sell it. You're gonna take a little bit of an L on taxes. Especially since I'm making a video right now, I should probably go yeah, ahead and register yeah. the car. It turns out all I had to do to avoid the state penitentiary was put the title in my name, which cost about $80, and now someone's coming to look at it in 15 minutes. Yep, this is the new engine. It had a rod knock before, if you've ever heard of that. Yeah. And where'd you guys get the engine from? LKQ online. So here, here's like the details on everything. I believe it's like a 60 or 90 day warranty on it. It's a 91,000 mile engine. And if you wanna take it for a quick test drive, Alrighty. you mind if I come along? Is that cool? Okay. Another cool thing about this car is it's got a nice, oh, wow. like pretty yeah, panoramic yeah. sunroof. The test drive went well, but then he broke some news. Well, I definitely, I'm definitely interested in the car. I think I'd like to have a mechanic look at it. When do you think you would wanna come back then? Uh, Probably around like, like four or five ish, maybe. So work? later today. So the guy just left and he told me he was gonna come back in a couple hours to finalize everything and hopefully pick up this car. I honestly don't blame him, especially since I told him the car had a replaced engine. I don't know if I should have told him that, but hopefully he does get back to me and we can finalize this deal. It is currently the morning of day 23 since we bought the car and I'm waking up in Aaron's basement on this awesome mattress down here. The guy from yesterday still hasn't gotten back to me about the mechanic coming to take a look at the Subaru. At this point, I'm assuming he just went with another car, but on the bright side, it did have two other people reach out to me yesterday with one of them saying they want to look at the car today. Hey man, I think I'm here but I can't see. Um, I'm in the parking lot right off of 
Fifth Avenue. So the person should be here any second to come take a look at the Subaru. Thing is clean. Do you mind if I poke around? Have you just driven it? Will the oil be hot if I? Um, it hasn't been driven in okay. at least a few hours, so it should be good. And it's had like regular maintenance and stuff. Yep, my brother's actually a mechanic, so oh, since okay. we've had it, it's been pristine. I tried to film as much of the inspection and test drive as possible, but then he started negotiating. Look, to be completely fair, I think 10 is a little bit much. I could do nine. I could do nine flat. We eventually agreed on nine thousand five hundred dollars. If you can come up to ninety five hundred, I'd, I'd be down, man. That's that's probably the best I could do. Five hundred bucks off. That, uh, that sounds fair. I mean, okay. So I handed over the title and got the money. This, if you want to count it. Okay. More than welcome to. Ladies and gentlemen, my camera died partially through that encounter, but the guy officially drove off with the Subaru. He gave me seven thousand dollars in cash, and then he sent the other twenty five hundred through PayPal. That leaves us with the total profit on this car of nearly five thousand dollars. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.